off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Friends <sighs> Took a break yesterday, didn't film Rested all day Trying to get my water back over here where it belongs. I'm gonna to talk to my doctor. I'm, I'm assuming the whole being tired thing is very normal. Um, I just wanna make sure there's nothing wrong, but I don't feel like there's like any infection or there's no fevers. But I rested a lot yesterday. I didn't actually, I think I took one nap. Overdid it the day before, going to the movie, going to Costco. I just thought like, you know, the separation of the two would be fine. You know, like I had time between the two events, but it was too much for one day. So today is day, let's see, today is Wednesday. So it's a week and a day, but technically day nine. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Today is day nine post surgery. Um, and I feel like it's going well. I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Um, I am slightly concerned that the little incisions for the, the tube, the drain tube, haven't um, completely like closed up. But, and I think I'm irritated by the tape that I bought. My doctor had latex free tape, but all of my little like spots where the tape and the gauze and stuff are really irritated. They're not red by any means, I don't think. Anyway, I will be glad to have the doctor look at me um, in two days, but you can tell what kind of day I had yesterday. I had a Cafe Rio salad, thanks to one of you, gave me, gave me a gift card. Um, I don't I think that was actually the day before that. This is how my kids refill my water because they can't open my water bottle. And don't think Ashley did lotion on me. <sighs> Everything it takes so much energy. So when I, when I went and got that Cafe Rio yesterday, I was with Abby. She was my little chauffeur for the day. And uh, I, she just had me go in and get my own salad and whatnot. And I came out. <laughs> I'm so tired. And I could barely hold the bag with my salad and my extra dip and my chips. I, I, I went all out. I was like, this dinner is for me. I only ate a fourth of it. <laughs> um, so I'm looking forward to that salad for lunch today. But I came out and Abby was like, are you okay, mom? She, that took like everything out of you, didn't it? And I was like, yeah, that kind of took everything out of me. But um, I have Kaylee home today. She is, what day, so today is Wednesday. Yeah, so She's home today. Um, I don't know if she's staying home all day, but she took Abby and to work and Ashley to her little kids camp this morning. And then she is watching Max overnight at our house for the rest of the weekend. So Max's owner, Matthew, and his dad are coming over here any minute. And the, the dad just wanted, wants to talk to Kaylee and me just to make sure that we are taking care of Max well. He's he's a pampered dog. Matthew is an only child. <laughs> so the dog is just as much of an only child as Matthew is. So he's a pretty pampered dog. I'm trying to think if I need anything else up here. But as soon as we're done with that, I finally got paid from my ultrasound scans and I got I got paid very well. I will say I will do the hoo ha lady scan like not this ladies the other ladies I will do that scan again because that scan paid three hundred dollars for two hours of my time yeah that one was a good one so I'm gonna go deposit that money save it for my next paycheck payment hey kiddo oh you're going to sleep Chelsea's gone back to sleep it's 11 o'clock um anyway I'm gonna go deposit those and get those ready for my next payment on these guys. My little interest-free credit that I have. Made my first payment. 
did three times the payment amount because I am definitely going to pay that sucker off in 12 months, if not sooner. I would really like to pay it off sooner than that. So we are waiting for Matthew and Max to come over and open up. Normally I don't do this. I need to set you guys down. I'll be right back. I think my girls are getting a little too accustomed to driving my car. <laughs> She even took it this morning to go take Ashley and Abby to work and hey, camp. Your thing is I'm not going to waste my gas. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to waste my gas. I'm like, well, I'll pay you for the gas. She's just like, can I still just take your car? <laughs> you can't. Okay, you can't. What? You have to be cautious of me in the car. I can't I do... I didn't think that's, that I, slight thing Because, or... okay, let me, let me go and explain this to her. Hang on. Okay, we picked up a squirt. Yeah. You have fun? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow is water day, right? Ooh, so they're gonna matter. wear your swimsuits and splash in the yard or whatever, right? You having fun? Yeah. You played, Sorry. what game did you play today? Mafia? Mafia. I don't know if I'm catching you, but you had a good time? Okay. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go up to Marshall's. I'm still trying to find a dress for church that isn't just draping on me. I wanna, I don't know, I just wanna look like I'm smaller. <laughs> I wanna wear clothes that actually like fit me, not just cover me. So we're gonna go and look. Who's going into the store with me? Kaylee said she doesn't want to. No. Okay, well, I'll hurry. Well, I struck out on a dress, but Ashley has found some earrings. She does have sensitive ears, so we're thinking if we got earrings like this, they're just they're really pretty. Um, but she could put them in for like an event. Like if you're gonna go play for a few hours or go to an event, um, then you can put them in and then take them out and put these ones back in, clean it and stuff. So she's debating on those two pairs. Okay, she settled on these guys. Little butterflies and two little diamonds. Hi friends. We're gonna be real with you right now. I have been in that bed. It's now 7 p.m. We got home from taking the girl, picking, what did I, I don't even know what we did. <laughs> what did we do? Picked up Ashley, took her to her friend's house, where she still is at. Actually, she's at cheer practice now. They took her to cheer practice, cheer camp. Ran to um, Marshall's Home Goods for a bit, and then came home. I wish it looked good to have it this curly. I don't know, I just think it looks, maybe it wouldn't look that bad. I have taken my medicine. This has been a lifesaver. We have surgery, any kind of surgery. Set alarms, daily alarms, with exactly what medication to take and whether you have to have food with it or not. I don't like the hair being kind of wavy like that, so we're just gonna. Anyway, we got home. I was so exhausted. So we were gone from 11.45 until approximately 1.30, so maybe two hours. Like maybe. And I was so exhausted. I came home and I sat over there on the couch for the equivalent of one YouTube video. So like maybe 15 minutes. And I was like, yeah, I'm done. Like I don't need to, I wasn't necessarily, I was tired. My body was tired and I couldn't relax it completely um, over on the couch. I knew I needed like all of my pillows to like fully let my whole body relax. And I'll explain that here in a sec. So I got into bed over there, my little, my little cocoon still set up. Jason's still sleeping on the couch, day nine. Um, and, and I never fell asleep until, this is the part of this, doing this hair now that I can't actually do. I can't lift my hands to get back behind. So I'm just guessing. This doesn't, I usually have Ashley do this part. Hang on, Kaylee, she's downstairs. Am I just putting the chicken straight in? Yeah, you can. Just make sure you set a timer, like three fourths of the way through that, whatever time it says to do it, so that he can come and flip the chicken. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Jason's on a run, but he needs to have food ready for him when he gets home so we can go somewhere. I'll tell you that in a sec. Anyway, so my body, I, I laid down on the bed and I just, it felt so good to let my body rest. And it's not just my chest. Again, I'll explain that here in a sec. And I stayed there from 1.30, probably closer to two, until an hour ago. And I fell asleep. I looked at my clock and I was like, it's 5.15. Jason's going to call. I really shouldn't be, I can't get, I can't get my arms up more than that. I should, I should have Chelsea come finish this. I shouldn't do this part, even lift my arms up. Okay, Um, this isn't the way I wanna do it, but I can't lift my arms up more than that. Oh well, it is what it is. That makes me so tired. And I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm tired enough now, I think I can sleep for another hour, hour and a half, and Jason will be quiet when he comes in, and, and then we'll go to where we're gonna go. And I was like, but he's gonna call me, he's gonna call me. 
Sure enough, I had just gotten to that like dead sleep state and he called. Ah, uh, now I'm wide awake. But I just stayed in bed until like an hour ago. And then I went downstairs and ate the other third of my Cafe Rio. My medication is doing its job. I used to be able to eat half to three fourths of the Cafe Rio salad. And now I only eat thir a third of it at a time. So it lasts me for three days, which is fantastic. Which leads me to now and why I'm getting ready at 7 p.m. when I should be back in bed, which is where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go sit down in bed. We're gonna go to Ashley's cheer camp the last day. It was only a three day camp. Yes, an expensive three days, $33 a day. It's fine. They just learned one of their halftime routines that they will be doing and learning, continually learning this the rest of the summer and into the fall and then at football games is what they'll be performing at halftime. And this camp was just kind of a, intro chance to like meet the coaches, meet the teammate, learn a routine ahead of everyone kind of a thing. So we get to go and watch that new routine that she has learned um, tonight. Simple, watch the routine um, and we'll take her home. I really want a milkshake or an ice cream cone with waffle, like a waffle ice cream cone. I have no idea why, I'm just craving it. I don't know, craving it. I could, I haven't even had my proteins, ice creams, but. <sighs> okay, let me explain what I mean by my body being tired. Because if you're curious about this surgery, this is something that I didn't know that I would be experiencing like in the recovery period, right? So I would, I'm trying to like do my best to explain it. I try and explain it to my kids and, and to Jason, but your chest in, in, in general, guys and girls or whatever, moves so much of your body. You use your chest for so many movements and I can't use my chest. That's why I'm always doing my little praying hand, right? Right below. I keep my elbows to my sides, but my sides, but those incisions right along those edges are very very tender. So I actually have to have like little, little flappy duckling arms. <laughs> and um, because I'm constantly protecting the, the non-use of my chest area, the entire area, I'm using my back muscles, my shoulder muscles, my neck muscles, and my stomach muscles to protect everything I can from this section moving. Like my, my whole, this whole section from being moved, jostled, so walking me up and down the stairs, I'm just I'm holding everything in and I'm, you know, tensing my back, tensing my shoulders. Sitting in the car, I have to sit away from the seat. As we go around to corners and I have to flex my back and I have to flex my stomach. It, it makes me tired even like showing you how I do it. And so after doing that for two hours or even a half hour, like my whole body, like my whole upper body, waist up is exhausted from having to tense and strengthen and like hold everything in. And my whole body has to just rest and doesn't quite work on the couch, it does, sometimes, but most of the time, if it's like a longer time frame, like two hours a day, my whole body has to just sit fully cocooned in the bed. It's, it's quite, so that I didn't anticipate. I'm not necessarily in pain still. I am still on pain medications, Tylenol, naproxen, and then another one. But I go in two days to get all the incisions looked at, see if we can remove steri strips and or stitches. I don't know how it's gonna work, but it's sensitive. It's very, very sensitive. And so I'm very protective of everything. So that's kind of the update on why I'm always so tired. It's because I'm constantly protecting my body from moving every function. And I wanted to show you some of the realities of living in my room for as long as I have been now. <laughs> It's actually pretty good. I should show you the garbage bag. I had Nate, um, Jason's brother, came over yesterday to bring home. It was like a weird thing. He happened to be able to go get Abby from work versus Jason's dad <laughs> last night. So he came over and he was like, wow, you've got quite the setup in here. Hang on one second. But while he was like um, hanging out in here, it was a little awkward, you know, my brother-in-law is hanging out in my bedroom with me. <laughs> Um, because I was just sitting on the couch here and I was like, I'm so sorry all the garbage is on the floor. I literally can't bend over to pick it up. I just had to drop things where they are. <laughs> I'll show you. So Ashley felt bad and so she started gathering up garbage given there's a big Lego box in there. This is just from the floor of my bedroom and that, that was just yesterday. I mean, that was leading up to yesterday. So I'm just gonna give you a reality of what it looks like because I can't pick up after myself. If it's, I just, because I have to hold my body in, I can't carry things down the stairs. So let me just show you, this is just my reality. And it's, I, the messes are driving me crazy, but I can't do anything about it. I have to wait till someone comes along and helps clean up after me. It's so against everything. <laughs> So we'll start here. This is like my empty drink containers. Usually they're not even empty, which is why I can't put them in a garbage can. Cause they don't usually if empty or I don't like drink at all. So empty cans, which I can't actually throw away. This is just face, face wipes. They didn't have a garbage can over here. 
And so there's that. There's my snack bucket. Um, that one is almost depleted. I keep granola in it um, when the kids bring me a yogurt in the mornings. Um, they can't still open my water bottle, my big Stanley, so they bring me ice in a cup, in a jar, and I just sit here and use it to refill my mug. That's just always there. Then here's the couch. Since I'm just trying to keep it clean, um, we're just keeping the blanket on it. Also for Jason, it feels better when he sleeps here at night. So I'm on it during the day and then he sleeps across here at night. This was my lunch today because I was like, I don't even have the energy to make a peanut butter sandwich. And everyone else kind of was wanting to do their own thing. There's Jason's pajamas for tonight. This is my desk setup for now and I don't have a video to edit until like today's videos. So I got caught up, but that is usually pulled over here so that I can work and edit over here. These pillows go up to the couch when Jason sleeps. So that's there. Um, once again, if it ends up on the floor, for whatever reason, I can't pick it up. So that stays there. There's a makeup brush on the floor, right over there by the leg of the chair. Stays on the floor. I can't do anything about it. Then the bed is still pretty much the same. I just keep um, light snacks and <laughs> some Twizzlers. I found Twizzlers today and um, Oreos. I'll, I'll explain the Oreo situations, but I found these, these are, they were from the 4th of July, fireworks. I found them in a bag downstairs and I was like, yep, that is fine. Um, but I keep other like healthier snacks like fruit bars and things like that to nibble on while I'm having medicine. Hi. Hey. You shower up, your chicken's in. I appreciate that. It looks like it's done. Your sweaty eyes, huh? Okay. Um, you can shut, yeah, shut, shut the door. Then my regular medicine, everything is out of there. But here's my cocoon. It is still fully set up. I still have to sit up completely upright. Um, and I do slide down during the night. Um, but last night I ended up like kind of getting hives on my hands. I have, I have no idea why, but I knew I was going to, it happens to me every once in a while. So I had like a Benadryl in here. Um, cause actually one of, the, one of the side effects of oxycodone um, is like a full body rash. And my sister had told me that she had had that happen to her. And so I, I knew that I needed to keep the Benadryl close to me. Didn't end up taking the Oxy, but then I started breaking out in hives last night. I took a Benadryl, maybe even two, at like one in the morning. I slept till 9 a.m. and I woke up and I was like, oh, that felt good. I think I, I kind of vaguely remember Jason leaving for, for work, but I didn't get up. I didn't go to the bathroom. I didn't take medicine. I was like solid out. I'm like, can I take some more Benadryl tonight? Okay, so Benadryl last night was fantastic. Where else? Bedside table. This is my drink from lunch today. Um, Jason just got home, so there's that. My charging cord um, needs to be in bed with me versus like sitting on the table. It's, it is at night if I'm charging it, but today the whole day it was like low battery. And so I have to I have it on a cord and I have to have it in bed with me so that it's close by so I'm not reaching back onto the table. And then I have to have access to my little chapstick and it sits here in the corner. And then this is Ashley's medicine lotion. I need to keep close at hand. I put lotion on, get pretty dry. This is my little injection corner um, that I just do in the mornings. And this is the bag that I found downstairs in the laundry room and it had two things of Oreos in it. I, had, I did not eat two things of Oreos today. <laughs> This bag had two Oreos left in it and they were very soggy and wet because Washington is just a wet state. Even though it is summertime, the air is very moist. And so they were moist cookies. <laughs> so there's two of them in there. And then that package, I can't even bend down. That package had three cookies in it. So I had five cookies throughout my six hour stay here in the bed, five hour stay in the bed today. And um, that was my day. <laughs> That, that's my reality. I was supposed to have a friend, a dear friend, come over and visit me today. She's gonna try again tomorrow. Really hoping and praying because for the most part, I because I just have to sit here and let my body relax, I'm awake. <laughs> I'm capable of having conversation. I'm capable of watching TV and TikTok and looking at the news and waiting on a pending indictment that might happen tomorrow. I'm just here. <laughs> And I can't do anything else. And I'm, I'm, I'm allowing myself to do that. I'm allowing myself to rest. It's just getting a little boring. So I am hoping a friend can come over during the day tomorrow. I might call another friend if she can't come or if I get bored later on. I have another friend, um, she was supposed to bring dinners, but we've been able to like do pretty good with our dinners um, throughout the week. 
um, since my surgery. And so she's like, let me, let me bring a treat for you and the girls and for Jason. So I don't know what it's gonna be. She's gonna surprise us. And so this is a very long explanation of what I've been doing, but I don't have anything else for you. And everyone else is doing their own thing. So that is what it is. I'm just trying to recover and take it easy. Have half of an outfit on, have a cute shirt, and it looked really cute with my jean shorts, but I put on sweat shorts when I got home. So, and as my doctor told me, he said, you have a belly still. So when you have the chest, you can see, look, <laughs> this is me being very real. I have a very small chest now. So this is emphasized. I mean, given I'm sitting down and I'm just relaxed, it's all just kind of hanging out. I really want to be able to get out and walk and I feel like I can do an even better job after this surgery. I just, like even walking around Marshalls for 15 minutes maybe. I was like, I'm done, I'm done, I, I can't walk anymore. I just, I hope that like I slowly, if I allow myself to rest and recover, let these the, the incisions heal, recover, that um, I will get that energy back and I won't having, be having to like tense my muscles so much. Cause it, it's, it's a lot, but it's worth it. It's just a lot. So let's go to Ashley's little cheer performance and then we're gonna end our day. Unless we go get ice cream. I don't, any, I don't think anyone's gonna say no to ice cream. It might be Ashley's dinner. I know she got Domino's today at her friend's house. Her mom, the mom texted me. She's like, she wanted nut Domino's. Cause I told her, I was like, she's not fed. I took her straight from a party, her little kids camp, straight to the friend's house. And I said, she's not fed. And I can't be mom right now. I literally can't be mom. I gotta go home. And she was like, let me be mom. Let me be her mom. Let me take care of her. <laughs> so she has, she's had her since 1230. She's had her and she's gonna take her to the practice and I'll pick her up. So it is what it is. And I have a little village around me, including my own family taking care of me. And that is fantastic. So the boys are down here doing football camp. At the same time, the girls are doing their cheer camp down here. We went down there. Ashley's the only one that doesn't have a t-shirt. I thought one of the moms had one for um, one of the coaches. I don't know if she's not gonna wear it or what, but we were kind of shunned away from their last practice. Oh, here they come, here they come. They're so cute. I forgot all about how fun this is. Here they come. the same squad last year it was there tonight and she came the mom came up to me and she had a new puppy at the very last game last season at our championship games and uh so I was like you know petting the dog and I'm like you know puppy doing better and she's like yeah and I just have to admit I started watching your channel and I love you so much and I love your voice so hello <laughs> you're watching this in a few days I mean, I already know you. We spent like every cheer game last year together. So it is fun to have you be a part of her. And the one, but the one thing is that she has started to recognize, and this is kudos to all of you who watch. She's like, dude, your fan base is solid for you. They're like your friends and they support you. They're here for you. And she can tell that just from watching a few videos. She's like, I'm reading the comments and I'm like, these people are here for you. And that is kudos to you guys. So thank you for that and for, you know, just showing your true colors and good colors and just being there for us as a family. So, but are you glad you did it? Yeah. yeah. We didn't get her signed up in time to get a t-shirt or a bow, so that's why she looked different than everyone else. But she's literally joining the actual squad um, and getting the full uniform in two weeks. 
So they take a week off and then they start um, practices for the summer. To be fair, the dance, they told us to start from the back. You were annoyed, weren't you? Yeah, because yeah. like, because when <laughs> she, at practice. She turned quickly. Because you, at practice, yeah. they were telling us like, we, we're starting from the field and doing that part. But then at the dance, they quickly said that we're not doing that anymore. But I can't hear because they're all the way up there. Yeah. yeah. And so it just got confusing. You still did great. You did a great job, but I can tell you were frustrated. Yeah. But you also have only had four hours to practice these. Not that, even four. Not even four. Hours, yeah. yeah. Um, can I have, can I do you need food, Ash? Or I was thinking of ice cream. Food. You want food? Yes. <laughs> okay. I know oh, the bumps in this parking lot. <laughs> so one of the, the so one of our cheers. Yeah. Let's tell. get fired up. Crowd will put your hands up, and so. What did Dad say? Mom, put your hands up. He's like, come on, Dana, put your hands up, be supportive. I and forgot. Ashley can hear him saying that. And the, she was like, she can't, she I was can't. getting all into a wave of my hands and everything, and yeah. And then, I'm like, I literally can't put my hands up. Know. And it would have looked so dumb if we were like, put my hands up. Little T-Rex <laughs> Little T-Rex hands. So dumb, so dumb. So I'm glad you remembered that I didn't have I'm this. I'm just in the moment, I live in the moment. Okay. All right, despite Jason saying I should just go to Safeway and get ice cream, I won. I just want a really solid waffle cone like that. Like that's what I want. I want waffle cone filled with chocolate ice cream with peanut butter. So let's go get that for myself. $25 later. Shut up. All right, the line's too long. There's like easily 10 people in line and I just, I can't stand and wait that long. So Jason won. We're going to the grocery store. win. <laughs> Um, but I am gonna try and find a box of waffle cones because I, I just I don't know why I'm craving that part of like the crunch with the ice cream. It sounds really good to me. So I haven't. Yeah. And just like that, I got my phone. Are you having one like that, or are you wanting a, a bowl? This is for Chelsea. She wants it in a bowl. It's fine. I can have it in this. We're gonna say goodnight. Take care. We'll see you next time.